the Lord be with you. We are about to start start our worship service. Yeah, please stand if you are able. Our procession hymn today is "Great is Thy Faithfulness." Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Luke's. I hope uh, your mood is not as cloudy as uh, this <laughs> weather. <laughs> Good one. Good one. I think we gather together with the spirit gathered together to worship God every Sunday. And today is the first Sunday after Easter. The risen God is with us. Let us worship together. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Alleluia! Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia! May His grace and peace be with you. May He fill our hearts with joy. <coughs> Almighty God, to you our hearts are open. open. Our desire is known, and, and from, from you no secret is hidden. Plant the thought of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Jesus our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Thank、you 
Please be seated. Can I invite all the children here to come forward? Yeah. Sit down. Just sit down, people. Sit down. Yes. Okay, people. Good. good. I, I believe all of you heard a song, it's called uh, Ba Ba Black Sheep. Yes. Can you sing that? Ba Ba Black Sheep. Okay. So, you know the, the sheep, they follow their shepherd, right? Yeah. So, they believe their shepherd. So, can I ask you a question? Who do you believe? Can you reply? God. Are you God? God. Any other answer? Oh, yeah. You go ahead. Jesus, God, God. Jesus, God. And heaven. And heaven. God in heaven. So, anyone else you, you believe? Yeah. yeah. So, anyone else you believe? Who do you believe? I don't. Yeah, go ahead. Your parents. Okay. You go oh. ahead. Okay. Jesus. Anyone else you, you believe? How about your teacher? Yes, go ahead. Friends. friends. Trust friends. How do you trust? Who do you trust? I trust. Yeah, you go ahead. Family. family. Trust family. So, any else? So today's lesson, I want, actually, I want you to trust Jesus. You know the reason we gather here together is because of Jesus. Yeah, Jesus is our shepherd, not only for yours, for each of us, for all of us. What's a shepherd? So can someone explain to him what's shepherd? Good plan. Okay. Okay. When the sheep lie down on the floor, what should we do? You go ahead. Watch it. Yeah. Oh, we can pet the sheep. Like uh, Alice just pet you. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. And uh, who want to do the prayer? Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, step forward, do the prayer. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Thank you, God, for everything. Amen. 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 Yes, go ahead, stand up. John and Philip, I want you to stand up. Don't do that. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Come on. No. Thank you, God. For for helping us. Thank you, God, for life. Thank you, God, for believing God. Thank you, God, for dying for us and giving us your blood. Amen. Amen. Thank you, God, for the whole world. Thank you, God, for all of my friends. And thank you, God, for chocolate so we can eat. Thank you, God, for candy. Thank you, God, for thank you, God, for food, water. Thank you, God, for making yourself and making your brother uh, forgive our bad things, like other people jealousy and being selfish and never Jesus Christ. Amen. Man. John, do you want to do a prayer? Okay. <laughs> Our Heavenly Father, mercy for Lord. Thank you for giving us the rain yesterday so it is not very dry and a free car wash. 
And thank you for giving us um, the church so we can all gather and know about you. And thank you for giving us the Bible so we can know more about you. And please stop the war that's happening right now. Please stop school bullies. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. That's cool one. Dear God, thank you for the like for the weather getting better and how it's about to be summer. Thank you for school about to be over. It's a, uh, about to be summer holiday. Um, thank you for us being here at this church right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Anyone you want to do a prayer? Yeah, just come forward. Jesus, thank you for my family, thank you for my friends, and thank you for my school. Amen. 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 So, do you want to do prayer? Anyone else want to do prayer? God, thank you for friends, family, and food. Thank you for a roof to live under. Thank you for this church. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for houses and food and water. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Anyone else want to do a prayer? That's a seal. Big word is thank you, Jesus, for bringing us together. Okay, you can go with the Sunday school. Amen. Be careful with the Oh my, we have only a small flock of children. You can see how hard the shepherd could be. <laughs> Let us pray. O oh God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, by the blood of the eternal covenant, make us perfect in every good work to do your will and walk in us that which is well-pleasing in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please keep seated for the proclamation of the word. A reading from the book of Acts. They devoted themselves to the apostles, teaching and to fellowship, fellowship to the breaking of bread, and to prayer. Everyone was filled with awe at the many wonders and signs performed by the apostles. All the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. Every day, con every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bed bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts, praising and enjoying the favor of all people. And the Lord added to their number daily those who were being saved. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. The Holy Gospel of Lord Jesus Christ, according to Saint John. Jesus said, "Very truly I tell you, anyone who does not enter the sheepfold by the gate, but climbs in, climbs in by another way, is a thief or a bandit. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him." And the sheep hears his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they know his voice. They will not follow the stranger, but they will run from him, because they do not know the voice of the strangers. Jesus used this figure of speech with them, but they did not understand what he was saying to them. So again, Jesus said to them, "Very truly I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and bandits, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters by me will be saved." And will come in and go out to find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. The Gospel of Christ. May the words of my mouth become meditation of your heart. May the Spirit be with us all in Jesus' holy name. Please be seated. Yeah. So Jesus talked to his disciples, and he said, "I am the gate. I am the shepherd." But they weren't. They they didn't understand. It's what's that idea? And after so many years of、uh, Christianity, we, now we we are familiar with the shepherd ideas and the sheep ideas. But、uh, on the third on last、uh, Thursday, we had a Bible study group. We had a very interesting conversation. One of the it's not new. I think it's、uh, many years.、Uh, it's a brother. He brought a quite broad idea of this.、Uh, Why do we always think of a shepherd and the sheep ideas? In my in my in my opinion, the the brother said, "Is in my opinion, the shepherd, you know, the shepherd of the whole flock of sheep. Eventually, they will butcher them. They will sell the meat. They will eat. That's the end of this journey. Why?" Is the shepherd is the so kind of a kind of taking care of that? Why don't we consider it a shepherd of a dog? We we have a dog. We raise them for ten, fifteen years. We company and put them. It, it's rare we we you know we butcher a dog. So that's a horrible idea. Yeah, we just、uh, put them up nice and、uh, to a. It's more like a human being's、uh, company. Why? Sh- why? Sh- Shepherd, why sheep? So let's see what the what the gospel tell us today. This answer will be, I think, it will be answered at the, today's gospel. Let's see the the first reading act today. It's from the first generation of the church. After Peter, the fisherman Peter, and started his his journey to preaching. And he did the marvelous job,、uh, even better than when Jesus did. 
3,000 disciples uh, baptized. And they built up the first generation of church. And they saw the church, you know, people gather together, have the church life. Basically, there's the four things uh, they started. And until today, we are still doing that. The first one is uh, we listen in the te teachings from the scripture, from the Bible. And we have a spiritual conversation with the brothers and sisters. And we have earthly life mingled together with the church members, brothers and sisters. And the first one is uh, we gather together, we worship, and we pray. And they especially mentioned, uh, you know, the breaking the bread. We receive the communion, which Jesus uh, basically taught for generation for all the churches. Until today, I believe it's uh, still the witness. And uh, there's one sentence that uh, caught my attention when I prepared for this, for this uh, sermon today. And uh, the second word is called, uh, the fear came upon every soul. So why they were afraid? They had the church, they had 3,000 church members. Today, if our church, we don't mention 3,000, if we have 300, we will be cheerful every day. Why they, they were feared? And remember, the they, they fear came about every soul. This is a very typical to the new Christian, and even for many years Christian, when we kind of recheck our faith to think about our, you know, the, the trusted God, like I mentioned, who do you trust as kids? There's some always a fear of uh, building up the faith or reinforce our faith. I want to share a little bit of my personal journey at the invitation, and you reflect yours. As you, most of you know, I'm not a born Christian like my son, who was born and baptized here. I was converted Christian. When the journey started, uh, I set the doubt of uh, what I was taught, I was trained when I was uh, in my early 30s. I was taught it, uh, in a communist country, it's called, uh, I'll read the word, dialectical materialism is the only truth of the world. And then, they, going from that, they go, to, okay, everything we need to be proved by the practice. The truth need to be proved by something tangible we can see. And then it goes to the might is right, money talks, and this whole thing, until I realized that uh, there's something wrong there, I was feared, I was, you know, hold the fear so trembling, I think uh, something what I was taught is not, not right. Exactly like the first generation of the disciples. The fear came upon my soul. The fear came on my soul. That's why I stepped there. Even some people called me, OK, go to meet God. And I stayed at the, the Zoom for another 10 years until I feel the touch of Jesus touch my heart. So potentially, you can say the journey of the first generation of a church, it's not that easy to build up faith. It's not that easy to build up church. Especially at that time, we mentioned that uh, Jesus was, uh, was killed by the Roman Empire. I'm not sure if you know the Roman Empire, the, how mighty it was at that moment. It's much stronger than any empire we have ever seen in the, in, in the, in the world history. Even the, you know, the, there's a lot of people, they want to put the idea of, uh, we're looking for a strong leadership, we're looking for someone like Rome, the emperor of Rome, Roman Empire. Even the Pontius Pilate, he himself, we talked about him before, he himself, you know, killed Jesus. He was the governor of the, the Israelites. He was trying to earn the love from the people. He allowed them, he helped them, not allow, helped them build the temple. 
He's trying to buy in these people to worship him. He thought himself as the god of the, you know, the Israelites that moment. And this brings another topic. It's a, we have the impression of the shepherd, the leadership, right? We think right now we have the idea of a shepherd. We thought, oh, that's the leadership. I believe in the society, the whole through the history, not only today, from history, we all wanted good, we all want good leadership. Good shepherd lead us in and out of uh, going to the green, going to the green pasture, the place where we feel safe, we feel being protected, we feel being encouraged, we feel being, you know, it's a kind of a, we just be a sheep and you give me everything. Which brings to the topic I just mentioned. Why sheep? Why shepherd instead of a shepherd of a dog? Let's check a little bit of history. With the history, you know, the involvement, it's a, the shepherd ideas in the Jesus time, when Jesus mentioned this to his disciples, these shepherds are, it's just, a, I think it's a hard, hard job for this shepherd. Most of these shepherds, they are not owners. They couldn't decide the, you know, the end of the, the sheep. They couldn't decide the when they were going to sell, sell the sheep, how they're going to use the sheep. Their job is to take care of the sheep and to accompany them, give them a good life, and to help them don't be caught by the wolf, by other dangerous things, by the, you know, the disaster of you know, the flood for everything, and find food for them. So this is a very traditional, a typical idea of uh, leadership. So today's message, actually, we are talking about the leadership. We're looking for leadership. In the, in the democracy system, we, ho we, we vote hoping to elect it. And we apply for jobs hoping to work for it. And we go to the school hope, hoping to be educated by it. And, but uh, we do not always find it. The trust we place in our leaders can be broken. And what are we to do? Let's reflect to today's gospel, say what the Jesus tell us today. So today, it's, the gospel, it's, uh, I think it's have a vivid picture of how the shepherd work with the sheep and give the first idea what the needs of a sheep? I think it's the first one. It's a very, it's obvious answer. Is a, we all want to save, we all want to be protected. So the shepherd job is a protection, right? He or she need to protect the, the, the sheep, like the each of our family. We need to protect our family members. We need to protect our community. We need to protect the life and the, the people we love. So this is the first thing the shepherd will do for each of us. Give us protection. And this has been in the first generation church. The 3,000 person gathered there in the shadow of what Jesus was risen in the shadow of the power of the Roman Empire, they were looking for protection. They were, they were like a whole bunch of sheep there. I believe they still have the idea, they were, they were looking for the, the original idea, what they wanted, Jesus, a power mighty king, like a King David, conquer the land, broke, break the, the Roman Empire. But Jesus teaches very differently. Jesus gave them the Holy Spirit, gave them scripture, gave them the scripture and the spirit to gather together and to learn, to pray, to worship. We all know what happened the whole through the history, right? 
the church growing from a one, two, three, and multiple. There's over 10 billion Christians here, but where's the Roman Empire? So which, the first one is called a protection. And the next one is a, what shepherd do to his or her sheep? We all want our life journey, no matter from the little ones, to the teenagers, to the adults, or we step into the seniors. I believe each of us have the hope we're being not only protected, being cared, being loved. We have the attention. When we have a, sometimes when we feel alone, we got some people to help us or stay with us. When we have a struggle, struggle of life, and there's someone to always be with us. So a good shepherd is always being with us. Sometimes it's not always to solve our earthly problems, like we can you know, have a mighty person behind us solve everything, but the good shepherd is always being with us and give us the spiritual support tell us the better things will be happened, tell us the faith and hope, tell us there is a resurrected Jesus who brings new life to each of us, to bring the spirit to each of us, to put the living water in each of us heart. No matter where we are, no matter where we were, we will have a new life. We will have the strength and the spirit and to guide us through this uh, you know, it's a, the journey is a, we don't know what's going to happen in this world. Like I mentioned, is a, we all went through the pandemic. Reflect this journey, three years. Uh, we are unsettling just like the trembling ship. I, do, I, I, I believe each of us had that moment of a fear, right? But I thank God every day it's like, we have this community, we have this church, we encourage each other, even in the hardest time, pick up phone, call people. We think God will eventually brought us out of this. Not only this one, through the journey of history, God accompanied each of his disciples from the day of the birth until the end of the earthly life. This is a testimony from millions and billions of Christians. I hope each of us can feel the company and that Jesus is being with us as a good shepherd. The first one is the protection. The second one is Jesus is being with us. So what's the third one? We are looking for the good shepherd in our family, in our working place, in our church. And sometimes, you know, especially in the church, sometimes the church failed, right? When you look at the good, a priest or someone you put a lot of trust on and have failed people, or there's a lot of history there. That's why since the first day and I step in church, I remind myself and remind each of person here do not put your eyes on the human beings. Put your eyes on the cross. Put your eyes on Jesus Christ. This is a place of where we find Jesus. This is a place of where we find the Spirit. Not a place of looking for a strong leader. Not a place of looking for someone. Yes, we do. We, we do have some people we trust. But spiritually, and especially for the big journey of our life, put your trust in Jesus. Invite Jesus into our lives. And he will change each of us, including the priest, including everyone here. So we all know the, what Jesus brought to us. I just listed a few things, and we hope in the future each of us and our children, our, they can't grow up like that. A good leader should have a courage, right? To have a courage to step up uh, from some injustice and uh, something with, 
to speak. And the good leader should non-conformity, yeah, not follow the, you know, the, like the, we, I just mentioned that the communism, well, majority of people follow that, just follow that. So non-conformity, we follow Jesus, we trust the truth and justice he br brings to us. And a good leader have the foresight with the spirit, draw the picture for the bright future and tomorrow. And a good leader have the steadiness in the storm, in the COVID-19, in the some disasters, in the something troubled in our family. Sometimes, you know, even in a small family, can we be a steadfast person there? Just trust Jesus will be with us, handle everything we cannot handle. And the good leader have a righteousness in heart. Spiritually, we all know the good shepherd is here with us. But earthly, we do looking for the good leaders and we train our kids and we're looking for our working place, community everywhere. We have a lot of uh, programs, you know, it's a, I, I saw the MBA program that says uh, for future leaders, right? And some po politician, you know, it's a, this is a for future leaders. But all this leader is the idea of earthly leaders. So let us remember what the scripture tell us. And also pray, there's nothing wrong to looking for the leadership in the change the world, serve more people, helping everyone to make community grow, to create new things. But let us pray for all the leaders, for all those people who serve people, and for all those we think it's leader. I hope we remember the scripture tell us, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be un shall be ended unto you. Jesus knows everything in our life. Jesus knows the every aspect we're looking. And for this journey, I hope we just put our trust in Jesus. He is our shepherd. He is our leader. So trust God, trust Jesus, trust the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' holy name, amen.
join our choir or invite more people to join our choir. Yeah. Please stand if able. The Apostles' Creed. Let us confirm the faith of our baptism as we say. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended to the heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The prayers of people. The prayers of the people are taken from Litany 15, page 122. In joy and hope, let us pray to the source of all life, saying, Hear us, Lord of glory, that our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his holy and life-giving resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory, that isolated and persecuted churches may find fresh strength in the Easter Gospel, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may grant us humility to be subject to one another in Christian love, let us pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, Lord, us of glory. Lord of glory. That he may provide for those who lack food, work, and shelter, let us pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, Hear Lord, us of glory. Lord of glory. That by his power wars and famine may cease throughout all the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. That he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, the weak, and the dying, that they may be comforted and strengthened. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear, Hear us, us, Lord, Lord of, of glory. glory. That he may send the fire of the Holy Spirit upon his people, that we may bear faithful witness to his resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Hear us, Lord of glory. In the weekly cycle of prayer, in our parish, we pray for Amy Tibble and Richard Barrero, Doris and James Udia, Bill Van Mall, Shi Chang Wang and Ying Chang, their families and loved ones. In the Diocese of Niagara, Church of the Ascension Hamilton, the Reverend Dr. John Stevenson, Interim Rector. The Reverend Canon Barry Randall, Honorary Assistant, and the people of that parish. Dear friends and in Christ, God is steadfast in love and infinite in mercy. He welcomes sinners and he invites them to his table. Let us confess our sins, confident in God's forgiveness. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done, and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
My brothers and sisters in Christ, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Lord's peace. Lord's peace. Let's see. Let's see. Peace to the, our brothers online. Lord's peace. Lord's peace. David, you can wave to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Our offering hymn today is the Lord enthroned in heavenly splendor. Let us pray. God of loving care, you spread before us the table of life and give us the cup of salvation to drink. Keep us always in the fold of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and our Shepherd. Amen. Our Eucharistic prayer is uh, uh, number five in the BAS 204. But you can follow the screen here. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. We give you thanks and praise, Almighty God, for the gift of a world full of wonder and for our life which comes from you. By your power, you sustain the universe. Glory to you forever and ever. You created us to love you with all our heart and to love each other as ourselves. But we rebel against you by the evil that we do. In Jesus, your Son, you bring healing to our world and gather us into one great family. Therefore, with all who serve you on earth and in heaven, we, greet, we praise your wonderful name as we sing.
Yeah, we just read it together. Holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give you thanks and praise, uh, loving Father, because in sending Jesus, your Son, to us, you showed us how much you love us. He cares for the poor and the hungry. He suffers with the sick and the rejected. Betrayed and forsaken, he did not strike back, but overcame hatred with love. On the cross, he defeated the power of sin and death. By raising him from the dead, you show us the power of your love to bring new life to all your people. On the night he was giving, on the night before he gave up his life for us, Jesus, at supper with his friends, took bread, gave thanks to you, broke it, and gave it to them, saying, "Take this, all of you, and eat it." This is my body, which is given for you. After supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, said the blessing, gave it to his friends, and said, "Drink this, all of you. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which is shed for you and for many, so that the sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me." Glory to you forever and ever, gracious God. With this bread and wine, we celebrate the death and the resurrection of Jesus, and we offer ourselves to you in Him. Send your Holy Spirit on us and on these gifts, that they, we may know the presence of Jesus in the breaking of the bread, and share in life of the family of your children. Father, you call us to be your servants. Fill us with the courage and the love of Jesus, that all the world may gather in joy at the table of your kingdom. We sing your praise, Almighty Father, through Jesus our Lord, in the power of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. And now, at our Savior taught us, we sing the Lord's Prayer. The breaking of the bread. Lord, you died. We died with you on the cross. We were buried in your tomb. Living in us, that we may live in you. For those who cannot join us in person. Here's the invitation for the virtual communion. Dear brothers, sisters, I invite you in this moment, wherever you may be, to receive Christ in communion with the saints and the gathering of God's people, unseen yet present with us now. Many are made one. We receive you 
Lord Jesus Christ. We welcome your presence in us and together proclaim our love for you with our hearts, minds, our souls, and our strengths. With the saints, we worship you. With the angels, we adore you. With your whole church, we proclaim your reign. Come to us, Mary, and make one in us. Amen. The gift of God for the people of God. Please come forward to receive communion or stay where you are. Yeah. Body of Christ, which is broken for you. May God bless and keep you and your family in Jesus' holy name. Amen.
Let us pray. God of steadfast love, watch over the church redeemed by the blood of your Son. May we who share in these holy mysteries come safely to your eternal kingdom, where, where there is a one flock and one shepherd. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Can I invite all of you to stand to sing the doxology? The peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and the love and the love of God, and of His Son Jesus Christ our Lord, and blessings of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be among you and re and remain with you always. Amen. Please be seated for some announcement. Okay. So. First, I think it's, uh, since Je Janet and Dean is away, and we thanks William for stepping up. Yeah, good job here. <laughs> William and Evan and Angela, they, they're, I think they're four or five families. They've been with us for three years. Yeah. And so it's a, So since the pandemic, we, we were coping, the, you know, the change, the whole things, technology, uh, Zoom thing. They are kind of, a, you know, the cornerstone for our technology support. Yeah, never miss the one service, I believe, yeah. So, and uh, before we say anything, do we have a birthday? We do have a birthday. We do have birthday. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> No. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday, Paul. <laughs> so I think we have some announcement. Uh, uh, the one is that we just listed here is a. Uh, we have a summer students hiring. It's our website, our Facebook. If you have a, I think it's a teenager or someone want to do a summer job, and please apply as soon as possible. Uh, on the Friday, it's uh, our flower sale. It's a, it's Friday. What time is a Friday during the day? We need volunteers to help us to distribute. May, sorry, May nineteenth. Yeah, May 19th, we need volunteers uh, to help us uh, to, you know, to carry flowers and to distribute it to all the families who supported the church. And uh, thank you to, I think it is, we raised a thousand dollars. Yeah, and the thing is, Jenny is not here, but we, I think we should uh, give applause to all of us and to this program. Yeah. <laughs> Any other announcement? No announcements today? Okay. So please do stay with us. There's a fellowship. We have another worship team getting to the neighbors and uh, with all our lovely kids together. <laughs> so please stand if able. Our recession hymn today is uh, there's, a will, there's a Whiteness in God's Mercy.
forth in the name of Christ. Hallelujah.